Good morning, everyone. Hope you're all having a great Thursday. So far as it's just starting for me. But anyways, we're going to open up a few packs from the 1988 score box that I purchased at the flea market last weekend. Anyway, these cards, this is the first year score came out with baseball cards. And of course, this was the time that the baseball card market was starting to explode, the late 80s, early 90s. Of course, Topps had a stranglehold on the market for a number of years. Their packs included Bubblegum. When Donruss and Fleer came in in 1981, I believe Donruss also included Bubblegum. Topps filed a lawsuit, and they had to come up with something different. So Donruss came up with puzzle pieces. Fleer came up with stickers. Well, Score, when they debuted in 1988, they had what is called Magic Motion Cards, which you'll see those here in a minute. You can see these cards are in a plastic cello wrap. And there you see great moments in baseball trivia set offer, it looks like. Different ones there on the back. Uh, the key rookie in this one's Tom Glavin. There's a few other rookies. I think Bill Ripken was one of them. There's a few other rookie cards in here. Not really anything spectacular. And in fact, 1988 score is not listed in the monthly Beckett magazine. You actually have to get the year-end issue, the what I call it's called the Beckett Almanac if you want the checklist. Or like I do, go on Trading Card Database and check out what they have. Now you see they have many different colors, very colorful set. Score was always great with incorporating a lot of colors in their early days. Not sure what the stars are on the bottom, but there you see their logo. You have the pitcher's name and the position they play. And they're usually well-centered cards. You have a, a frame inside the border there with the player. We'll flip this over and give you a look at the back. Has the team logo there. Kind of difficult to read the card numbers. They're pretty small print. I do like the way the stats are laid out. You have a headshot of the player. Usually a little couple paragraphs about them with all the licensing stuff there at the bottom. So it's a, it's a fairly nice set for what it is. And being that it is in the right smack in the middle of the junk wax era, and it's kind of an overlook set at times. It's not real exciting, but these cards would obviously, since they have kind of a, a, a more, not quite a matte finish, but not a super glossy finish, would be great for TTM or in-person autographs. So we'll go through these and see what we have here. Looks like we got some, just some... I don't want to call them average players because these guys had a, actually have good good playing ability to make it to the majors. There's one of the Magic Motion cards, Cleveland Stadium, June 29, 1987. Let's flip it over. And if you McGuire sets rookie record, so if you want to pause it and read about that, set that aside. And I'll just go ahead and keep these in the order that they came in. Carney Lansford there with the A's, Mike Ramsey. So not really seeing any names jumping out. I did look at the checklist and, and got an idea of what the, who the rookies were. Like I said, Tom Glavin. There's Sean Dunstan. He is kind of a hot prospect for a while. And then this first pack, just not super. Now, there are a lot of Hall of Famers in this set. I will say that. So if you're looking for, I don't want to say cheap, but affordable cards of some Hall of Famers. This set would definitely be an opportunity. So we have more cards here. Pack number two. Kind of look like a replication of pack number one. Do you remember Cleveland Stadium? And it's McGuire sets rookie record again. Wow, that was a little strange. But we'll continue to go through these. And see if we can come up. You may hear one of the cats cooing. There's Goose Gossage, Hall of Famer. One of the cats is cooing in the background. Apparently she knows I'm in this room and wants to come in here and it's off limits. Rookie prospect Mac Mackie Sasser. Was he with the Pirates then? Yes, with the Pirates. Don Mattingly, 87 highlights card, and Phil Necro. So we ended that pack a little stronger than we started the first one. This is one of these sets that I'm working on, so these cards come in handy when I found the found the box of them. I couldn't go wrong. Pedro Guerrero. George Brent. That's a nice card. like that one. So we'll just kind of go through these next few cards. I feel the... 
Do we have another, do you remember, do we have another Cleveland Stadium card? Yes, it, wow, how, how have we got three of these in a row? That's just weird. Okay, well, whatever the point. Maybe I'm going to end up with 36 Mark McGuire rookie record uh, Magic Motion cards, but we'll see what happens. Bill Picota, Ron Karkovice. So you see a lot of the, a lot of these names are somewhat familiar to me, but again, I don't know much about their careers. Because this is the time that I started uh, watching a little baseball, plus collecting the cards as well. These were probably, the 88 score were probably the first cards outside of 88 tops that I ever purchased. Um, the little town I grew up in, if you uh, look it up, there's a little town called Atlanta, Indiana. It has about 700 people in it, and every year in the fall, of course, it got canceled this year. But every year in, in late September, they have a, a two-day festival that draws anywhere from 80 to eighty to 90,000 people. I guess a town of 700 can draw that many people. And they used to have, they have a lot of booths, arts, crafts, and so forth, but they would have... Uh, some vendors would sell baseball cards. Ooh, there's a nice Ozzie Smith Hall of Famer. But they would have uh, several booths up there that would sell baseball cards and so forth. And Score was the first baseball cards. This particular set was the first cards that I was ever exposed to. Ooh, we got a different one. Um, great moments in baseball. Don gains 300 to win. Don, Don who? Don Sutton. But anyway... At any rate, they had a, a vendor was selling these, and a few of my friends bought some packs, and and I could tell that they weren't they weren't sealed up like this. They were actually wrapped in like a saran wrap, so they'd already been searched through at the time, and all the good rookies at that time pulled out and stars, and they were fifty cents a piece back then. But I didn't really buy any cards till 1989 with the tops, and that, those the 89 tops were the first ones that I started buying as a collector, but this was my first real true exposure to baseball cards was these 88 score cards. So, anyway, those yellow stars are a little hard to see on that yellow background. Looks, ooh, and Nolan Ryan. So this has been a really good pack. So we have three Hall of Famers in this one. We had Ozzie Smith, the second card in Nolan Ryan. I really like that Nolan Ryan card. And Harold Baines. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I wanted to get... Uh, cracking into this box since I uh, picked it up last week and going to work on the set once I get more cards involved in it. So I do appreciate everybody uh, support and, and the likes and the comments and the subscriptions. We're still at 156, but we're looking to get to 500. And when we do, we'll have another giveaway, which will be a relic card giveaway when we get to 500 subs. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your Thursday. Thanks for watching, and later today we will open a baseball repack box. Thanks for watching.